Hi, my blue brothers and sisters. This is John, and uh, I just wanted to take time to do a little update uh, for my channel, my YouTube channel. And you know, it seems like it, it's been a while since I've uh, actually done like a teaching or a, a lot of posts. But you know, hey, I've been real busy out here in California, you know, and uh, it's just this season that I'm in. Um, where right now I'm not particularly investing a lot of time into my YouTube or my internet ministry Although if you go to my Instagram, you'll be able to see a lot that's going on But um, there is gonna come a season when I really get back into it fully, but right now I want to give an update on how I've been so You know ever since I got to California I made a video at the beginning of this year about how I was gonna like stand on the van I was gonna be doing beach ministry with music and all this instruments and um, we're gonna preach and pray for people and we're just gonna see a revival and so praise the Lord uh, that really Has happened and so when I got back to California um, uh, I uh, Hooked up with Anthony and Ryan out of the RPA and then we did ministry together for a season And then I ended up connecting with some old friends from the uh, church TK with Art Montgomery and then um, we all started doing beach ministry together. We did a lot of beach ministry, like 10, 15 people. You've probably seen one video I made where there's like the full beach ministry. And we do this every Saturday from four till 10. And uh, so uh, we've been blessed um, with this guy named Dave Carney who uh, brings out, uh, he's got five to $10,000 worth of high powered stereo equipment. And he brings this out to the, the most packed, busiest beach in, um, San Diego where we're at now and we just blow it up preaching the gospel praying for people we've seen so many people touch so many people healed so many people give their life to Christ uh, on this beach ministry that we do and uh, I know that people will be like well you got to make videos of all this stuff well you know it's two different things one I just feel like it is what it is and God's gonna move that to the more video production side you know in the future and also pray that God brings me a cameraman because when I'm running this thing I'm 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 I'm, I'm the one who's kind of like leading it um, I'm the one on the mic a lot so I've got my hands full of the microphone I've got to do all this different ministry I gotta pray for people I gotta encourage other people to pray for people I've got to like set this all up together uh, it's kind of hard for me to record everything I'm doing while at the same time uh, flowing of the spirit so pray God bring me um, uh, somebody who will dedicate to this side of the ministry and then also it's just not the season I think we're in a season where I'm focused more on in-person ministry rather than full internet ministry although uh, full internet ministry is coming because grand scheme my uh, internet ministry is not going to be a major part of what God is doing but right now what we're doing is we're focusing on grassroots community fellowship and evangelism for Southern California in particular and that's where we're at so after that, um, I got back to California. I started doing these beach outreaches that we do now every Saturday. We, I've, I think I've done eight in a row now for about the past two months. We do about six hours at a time so that we leave plenty of room for people to come and show up if they want to. And uh, it's been awesome. I mean, the fruit is insane. The stories, uh, we're really investing in heavy street preaching, preaching on the microphone, the full gospel of Jesus Christ. We do a lot of preaching. We do a lot of music. We do a lot of intercept, like praying for people. We share the gospel with people one-on-one -on -one, and we are just seeing the harvest is ripe. And then the other thing is we went to this thing back in June called the Jesus Gathering. And you saw me interview John Rutke. And see what was going on in that interview with John Rutke, that one guy with the glasses, the older guy, is that we went to uh, a Jesus Gathering. And see, it had all the old guys from that massive revival that swept from, a, started in Southern California and Northern California, the coast of California, and it swept across the whole world during the 60s and 70s, during the, the hippie generation. And uh, there was a, a, a massive revival of grassroots, real and raw and authentic believers in Christ. That uh, they spread the gospel like wildfire. And John Ruck, he was one of the guys in that movement. And so uh, there was a lot of guys in that movement. And we went to uh, a Jesus gathering in June where, we re where I received an impartation. Uh, from a guy especially named Ron um, Junkle 
And when Ron prayed for me, it was the most tender and sweet prayer that I'd ever had. But I felt something in the spirit deposit uh, into me, which was an impartation of some sort, because that prayer was a, uh, what we dubbed a passing of the baton moment, where the, the last generation would come together with this generation and pass the baton for uh, the kingdom of God, the move of God, and the revival, and also just uh, the, just a generational kind of blessing. And so um, I received what was a very, very uh, powerful a generational blessing from um, Ron and he was one of the original guys who's a part of the Jesus movement in the 60s started in 60 1966 baptizing people in the water uh, traveling all over the country with like a bunch of nomadic hippie types and uh, he is such a tender and sweet guy Ron Junkle and so I, I he prayed for me and something imparted and then after that, we left the Jesus movement, and all of a sudden, the group of people that I had been hanging out with in other groups, we really started coming together all the time, doing community fellowship. We have our own Bible studies that we do. We have our own events that we do. We have two outreaches. We have a Friday one that somebody else hosts, and we have the one that I'm hosting. We have a Bible study on Wednesdays. We have a group meeting on Tuesdays. There's gonna be something being set up on Mondays and it's growing there's people coming to it we're building a full community of fellowship very very similar to the jesus movement back in the day from what i've heard testimonies of it seems to be that that impartation that we a lot of us caught and i know i did is starting to bring forth fruit in the form of communities and fellowships and love and this organic grassroots thing where we have bible studies we have a time for teachings we have a time for outreaches we have the full circle of things and we're just a bunch of people between the ages of like 18 and 35 who are just grassroots doing this thing and it's been powerful it's been beautiful and there's so many testimonies that go with it so i've been really invested in this bible study thing this community thing that we're doing this grassroots fellowship that we're doing and all these things and i've been so busy with all this stuff um and uh i try to make money i don't receive any offerings or any donations from anybody very often like not at all but i make money on doordash still and i'm always open to receive you know my links are in the description if you want to sew into me and make my uh make my my life a little bit easier you're more than welcome to do that but hey i've been so busy with doing all these things and building this army of god it's what it really is God is raising up an army and we all have our part and my part right now is in California with these young people doing this thing. And uh, what is the most phenomenal and the most beautiful uh, aspect of what I'm seeing happen in this area of the world is the love of God between the Christian saints, like the young people. They love each other so much. There's such a, a density of of tangible love and community and fellowship between these people you know they're all just in love with each other as christians and they're always together and they're always doing things together and they're always setting up things to do together and it's all it all revolves around christ it's not like we're all going to go to a bible or we're all going to go play like beach ball or volleyball or we're all going to go to the movies it's like no we all do everything around the gospel everything around christ everything is kingdom oriented we're all about we're all about like getting the word in, doing all these things and doing outreach and it's just and they all love each other so much all these people and it's uh so there was a special um uh, blessing put on all this stuff by the people who were really into this stuff this nomadic kind of grassroots thing in the seven in the 60s and 70s and the same folks that were even uh like ron dis was part of discipling lonnie frisbee and uh that 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 one hippie preacher and 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 john rucky was discipled by lonnie frisbee so these were the core guys from the 60s and the 70s that are getting around us and kind of discipling us and what we're doing and it's only the beginning um i'm expecting as time goes on maybe very soon maybe uh in a year uh that this thing is gonna gonna blow up and pop and people are gonna really start seeing what god's doing in california like there's another guy called uh california will be saved his name is ross johnson i think and he's kind of doing his thing too in a similar kind of vein i don't know him but i see he's doing something a little similar you know than what we're doing and uh, soon the whole body of christ is going to become aware of what god is doing in california because he is doing a work 
and uh, it's the next wave of revival. I gave a prophetic word on that a couple of videos back. You should watch, but soon enough, the, the church is gonna become aware of what God's doing in California because it's gonna blow up. But right now, the foundations are being laid through relationship and through love and through community and through his church, the ecclesia, right? The body of Christ. Something really beautiful and special is being brought uh, from the ground up uh, in California. And so it's going to be a massive revival uh, in a lot of ways. And it just takes, and it's just a revival of just, you know, love and unity. And it's the army of God being built along the coast. And there's a few leaders and a few people that God's raising up to do it. And so I've been real busy with doing stuff like that. And I just want y'all to know that um, I do want to get back on doing my teachings. I do want to get back on doing um, uh, different uh, content. Like um, I want to make videos of me praying for people and stuff like that. And other people praying for people. And I'm going to do all that. Just pray that God gives me like help when it comes to like the video work and stuff like that. Help that, pray that God gives me um wisdom on how to make the best internet content for you guys because i love you guys and i want you to see what guys are doing god's doing out here and all this kind of stuff so that you can be a part okay um but just pray because i hey i can't like handle the microphone and street preach while simultaneously ham handling the camera too all right and everybody's out here doing their own thing They're, so pray for a little bit of order a little bit of under uh that it all comes together i'm sorry if it's noisy out here it's just this airplane's always flying over so um, I just want to say I love y'all. I bless you all. I have a really awesome testimony that I'll post tomorrow of this guy who has a, his, he was healed by Christ. He was a paraplegic for three years. He could not walk. His legs were like spaghetti strings. He got healed by Christ, but when the doctors look at his spine, it's still dislocated for two inches. His spine is not connected to his legs. Two inches of disconnected space and he can walk. He's the only guy in the world, I believe, who has this, and he was healed by Christ. And I have this full-length testimony uh, video of it that I'll post tomorrow. So I just love you all and I bless you all in Jesus' name.